Hello viewers, welcome once again to our channel and uh, today we are in the field doing the tree tomato, uh, some work in the tree tomato field and, and so welcome, maybe you can go with us this journey. Uh, we, we were clearing the, the, bath, the rows because we are in preparation to come and dig and um, if you may remember the video I had done these crops had been heavily invested by a myriad of insects so, but today I'm glad to report the fact that we were able to control not only control but effectively control it so as you can see the crops are healthy they are good looking um, at this stage I've already started some seeing some giving me flowers um, which is uh, a plus for us um, so we were actually clearing this place so that we may come now and dig within the paths so remember we just had made holes um, we had made holes in this section for planting so we had done uh, Two feet, two feet wide and two feet down at the depth of two feet and uh, mix the mix with the manure starting from um, the lower part but uh, also remember so, so you can see I already have the flowers there and uh, I, I have the three branches already um, yep. so I was saying we had mixed uh, the soil the soil when we dig to remove the lower part the the feet the under the feet that was the depth of one feet that was under we separated and put aside it was actually red in color so it was in this area and then now um in the top part we mixed thoroughly with manure uh, for this case we were using cow manure and uh, from that point yeah, so you see the red red soil which we actually placed aside and um, so after that we now plant the crop with the with the top soil and the crop is doing very well it's, it's doing well um, what we are just doing for those we are which has not given me the flowers I, I'm nipping off the top part so I'm nipping off gently this area. So I'm nipping, I'm nipping off the top part. Um, just removing. So for this one, it was only half flowers. So I want to do anything because now when the flower regenerate, I have the three branches which I'm interested with. So. So you can see already we have flowers there we, we have flowers here it was generated very well but now the of importance is now the three branches now the crop will uh, grow from that point having three stems um so for this one uh because i need the stems to generate quickly that is interest my interest i'll nip it off um, so this area we were clearing and, um, it's impressive this crop is doing very well I'm impressed with the progress um, I, I, I've just learned one thing and uh, that is very key to ensure that uh, you control every form of insects every form of insects so this area we are continuing with digging so we are weeding within the foot of the crop so that's how we are doing it at this section now i'll just come and apply the manure on the lower yeah this area the shallow part we're going to do manure there so the same case with that same case with this so when you do this at least you know you find uh, the efforts you are doing they are worth the efforts you are putting 
you get feedback because the crops will regenerate quickly, the crops will grow nicely and um, you will hit your target because we are expecting, this is now um, three and a half months, it is three and a half months, almost four months and uh, we are expecting the next four months to harvest our first fruit because uh, this crop is going for the first fruit to be ready as from uh, eight eight to twelve months so um, and already we are the almost the fourth month and um, uh, the way i've showed you we already have flowers so it's a, it's a good thing to it's a good it's a nice process progress so now having the flowers they have set up already then in the next um, many days in the next uh, uh, two months the next two months I've already I will be having um, at least 90 percent flowering then I have another month of um, fruit formation then um, another month of um, fruit enlargement then um, the third month um, then uh, the ripening season so I'm projecting not I will not hit the target of eight months but um, within um, within a period of nine months I should be having uh, well set fruits so I will still within the target I'm still within the confines and uh, that is that is well um, the reason why I'm not going to get this from eight months is because of the infestation I had of uh, pests and then unfortunately I did a number of I did a number of insecticide, but there was no response at all. So, as I've said always, um, among the insecticides I used was one which contained an uh, active ingredient of lambda cyclotrin. I did another one which also contained active ingredient of alpha cypermethrin. Okay, in one way or another, I'm not naming the companies which sell the same product. Uh, they have their own um, restrictions and they have their own I'm not advertising any as of now and then so I'm just giving you the active ingredients whereby you can get from a number of companies so I did lambda cyclotrin and I did alpha cypermetry and uh, there were no response so um, I had to go for a higher one which contains acetamiprid um, it, it was of high concentration and uh, this also specific with certain companies maybe you can in my box and you can chat more uh, so it contained active ingredient or active ingredient of acetamiprid um, it worked very well it was nice we the crop uh, uh, responded quickly reason it was systemic so you know you know insects um, work in different ways so we have the sucking one we have the cutting insect we have uh, so their number the number of insects so um, it depends on how you work on if you are able to control at certain level you know that's important others are very active at level stage others are uh, active maybe when they have already become an adult so um, we control them in a specific level so you just uh, alter your insecticide uh, accordingly so you change you know you find farmers uh, they go to the shop they just buy brands but they don't buy the medicine so that's where we we go wrong you end up buying the same active ingredient from this from different companies so this company has a, a certain ingredient a certain um, a certain insect insecticide but now they have their brand name but now the, the other company also have the same active ingredient but having a different brand you see so brand name so you maybe go to the shop or the aggravate and you still purchase the same same active ingredient but of different companies so for example this time around you buy 
this insecticide which contains lambda cellothrin maybe company a calls it calls it uh, john company b calls it jane company c calls it uh, andrew so you just go buying jane john andrew you know but you still have the same same chemical so here it is important for you to understand the active ingredients so that uh, if it does if this doesn't work you are not going to purchase the same same active ingredients. so you just change so for my case i was moving from lambda cyclothrin i went to alpha cyclomethrin the others we have like clopidifos you have the acetamiprid so i was weighing in options i had the clopidifos or I may do acetamiprid. So when I did acetamiprid, it responded and uh, yeah, uh, I'm good. So right now I just uh, controlling, I'm controlling uh, even um, any kind of fungal infection. Um, yeah, uh, at least we are on top of the game and uh, we are progressing very, very well. So maybe you can see here, you already have the flowers. Um, but if, uh, there is nothing important than seeing you or seeing a farmer progressing well this is very very key this one hasn't uh, given me any flower yet so um, i'm going to nip it off because uh, i'm interested with the branches so i'm, I'm actually interested in the branches um yeah i'm interested with the branches next next round you know i'll get the second round flowers um thanks for watching hope you've learned something um remember to subscribe to our channel and you learn more on uh, tree tomato farming thank you